What's up, nerds? Waffles here, and I'm gonna be doing some Diablo. Be well, I needed to record something. I haven't recorded anything in a while, and I figured this would be a good one. And hack and slash because, well, my life's kind of been poop recently, and I mean that in like the literal sense. It's actually been like a pretty good couple weeks, but lots of poop. A lot more than I should have to deal with, especially like the literal sense of poop. So, <laughs> yeah, I figured I should hack and slash and try to record something and have fun. <laughs> yeah, so, um, we're, we're building a food trailer, and that's pretty good. We basically got it about done. Pretty happy. Um, but we had to change out the gray water, so like, like where you wash your dishes and stuff, where, where that water goes, we had to replace that, but that ties into basically the main drain, so I had to replace the main drain, and that goes to the black water, and if you guys don't know what black water is, that's where the poopy water goes. If you look under trailers, there's usually like two big tanks, uh, yeah, one's, one's poopy, and the other one is, uh, yeah, just, just the regular water. <laughs> And we got the trailer, we were told, oh yeah, everything, everything's fine, everything's cleared out, no worries. And, uh, yeah, we go to do that, and apparently, no, there was some, there was some worry. They, in fact, did not clean it out, and they did not make sure it was okay. There was a whole bunch of poop. Yeah, and we had to clean out that... Poop. So that was not not not, not fun at all, especially because yeah, there was me and my father-in-law who's in his sixties and can't get under a trailer. So my yeah, I had to get under the trailer to uh, clean out the poops. Okay, don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. God damn it! Why did he die on the stairs? Okay. Whew. Yeah. So we got that done, and it, it was it was pretty gross. Gross as it sounds. Uh, end up having to throw away some clothes and taking long showers. But then we got to go on a trip to California, which that was fun. Well, it was mostly like to see my nephew's first birthday, which that was that was a good time. But then so we went to see him, and then slowly make it to San Francisco. And then on our way back, so we just kind of, it was more of like a traveling trip, we only did like four hours a day of driving. Like, I think the most we did was like five at a time. And then we stopped at places and did arcades and shopping and stuff, so it was a good time. And then we get to San Francisco, and I'm not planning any trips back there anytime soon. It was... It was weird, because I was there, like, five years ago, and, ooh, time left. Survive the skeletons raised by the Jar of Souls. Oh, I bet I can do this. Especially when there's more skeletons, it'll be a lot easier. But yeah, it was dirtier than I remember, and COVID, lots of stuff was, like, boarded up. Not just clothes for COVID, but lots of stuff was boarded up, which was... Really sad. Like we were on the pier, like the touristy areas, and there's still a bunch of stuff just boarded up. And it was really sad. <laughs> and there was like a homeless people problem. And I'm not like, oh man, homeless people they're beneath me. Like, no, like they just they really didn't have a way of handling all these people. Like that was that was sad in itself. And like lots of stuff. Like, again, it was just like, oh, yeah, uh, no homeless people allowed. Uh, if you're a bum, you can't come here. And that was pretty sad. So definitely not being treated much like humans, which that was very sad. Has blessed me. And then, like, uh, yeah, so when they're not allowed to go into places, because that's a thing, uh, yeah, they just kind of go wherever they feel like, because they're not welcome in any place, so I'm it. If I'm not allowed to go into this place to use the facilities, and I'm allowed to go anywhere else, I'm probably just going to do it right on their front porch, and that, that, that's what they did. 
<laughs> so there was the, the, the human feces. Which, like I never thought that would be a problem I would have to uh, deal with. Like, yeah, <laughs> on that on that kind of level. Like, like it was just as bad as going to a park and there being a bunch of dog droppings. Like that's what it was, but with people poopies. Yeah, I was... Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the restaurants were still good, uh, except for... I'm not sure if it's just because of COVID or whatever now, because it's a thing, apparently. Uh, yeah. You have to pay extra to eat in San Francisco. And I don't mean, like, their prices were outrageous, which they were. They were outrageous. They were pretty crazy. But, like, at the bottom of, like, every, like, menu, it's like, oh... Uh, prices subject to change, okay, I, I get that. Uh, but then like, oh, and there will be a 10% added to every every check because you're eating in San Francisco. I was like, what? That's ridiculous, like, why don't you just... Like, the, and I know why they didn't just add 10% onto everything because then their prices would be even higher. You're like, man, I don't want to eat there. Because it's already super expensive. They don't want to make it look more expensive. So, like, and it wasn't a gratuity. It was didn't go to the server or nothing. Like I asked about it, and they're like, "No, yeah, like every restaurant down here has that because it's expensive to do business here, so we have to charge people more, and we're on top of already charging more." And that's probably why there's a lot, so many homeless people. They can't afford to do anything there because everything's extra, and then they add. Hidden extras. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, and this is. He didn't. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, I was going to put it on there. This is why uh, necromancers are a little overpowered. <laughs> I, I recorded one, but I didn't do my intro right. And I saw my timing was all messed up between my audio and my gameplay. So I'm, re I'm redoing this. And, uh, yeah. I was basically saying how, well, necromancers are basically overpowered in this game. Like, if you play a necromancer, you really only need skeletons and corpse explosion and you win. But, like, for hacks and hack and slash, you win hack and slash. <laughs> Check out a wand. Ooh, I can't use that wand. But I could do this one. A javelin, which I'm not even really using it, because necromancers just win. See, blow your corpse up, blow that corpse up. Why blow those corpse up? Why blow those corpse up? And something that could have been mildly hard was not even close. <laughs> but it's fine. It's good haggis ash. Ooh, and I'm getting super excited for Diablo uh, too. Very excited for the other thing. It's the remake. And basically all it has to be is upgraded graphics set in the same game, and I'm happy. People said it's well they they changed some stuff to try to make it more current, which I'm happy with as well. As long as they keep the skill tree the same. Like it doesn't even have to be the exact same, but like an actual skill tree with talents and stuff. Instead of this where you just kinda like pick everything because you get everything. And instead of like making a specific build, which I always thought was a lot funner. And more playability too, because it's just like, ooh, I could play this paladin this way, or I could play it this way, so I could play a paladin and have different experiences and play it differently and level differently and, and then they, they get rid of that stuff, which I thought was done. But hopefully they keep the old like skill tree style. Like when they went to like classic World of Warcraft. Ooh, love that. I still play newer. I play the newer because it's still fun. But yeah, classic is where it's at. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make an easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! There's no stopping their demands around here. Now I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt. It seems. Nice. At least you got money. Money, money, money for doors. Oh, plague minion. Oh, hey, let's go over here. 
Yeah, let's get these guys. Bring you in on the fun. Oh man, look at all these corpses. It would be a shame if they all exploded at once. <laughs> look at that. Like, he was supposed to be like a named, a named person. That was easy. Like this, and then like barbarians the same way. Like you kind of have to level them up a little bit, but once you basically get like health regain, I am just, yeah. You understand so much more, you gain A level, you're level 10. <laughs> yeah, barbarians, they kind of have some health gaining abilities, and then they get the whirlwind abilities, so like, they're just doing all this extra damage to everyone all the time, so you can just pull groups and sit there and just basically spin around in circles and win. These guys, yeah, you just get a couple of these skeletons. And one or two corpses and you win. Yeah. But it's fun still. And like I like the skeletons, I like having an army, even if I don't really need it. It's it's, it's fun. It's good times. And like, like I said, dealing with all this literal poop, I could really just use some run through. <laughs> Some run through of murdering things. Uh, yeah. Didn't think I'd have to do with this much human feces in like a two week period. Oh, and one, like, it, it's an always thing, but my son also got a little, little tummy ache because, you know, traveling. It happens, it's a thing. So he was very poopy. <laughs> Like, I just kind of add that in there because, like, it's a thing, like, poop, poop-related. But, yeah, it wasn't, nothing, like, different, really. Did get everything? Okay. It happens with toddlers. It's just a toddler thing. But the timing, the coincidental pooping timing. <laughs> hey, Guardian, we're gonna die. I bet you're gonna die. Oh, now like how these are skeletons, but the skeletons are leaving back fleshy corpses. Oh hey, I did that. Oh, you're not no, gonna give it to me. I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Uh, well, I'm gonna kill him. It's the only reason I'm bringing him back. Come on, man. My essence is too low. Essence of necromancy. Is that a thing? Oh yeah, and look, I have to get this crown, because there's a sub-king's crown on there. wonder where I saw that crown before. Hmm, Leoric's crown. A little bit of laziness on Diablo 3's part. I can find this crown probably like ten times. I need to go back. And uh, yeah, it's always different stats depending on what level you get it on, but it's the exact same crown, so it's just kind of lazy. You found the crown. Ah. Yeah, now you can repair the crown. It's good to work cool. again. <laughs> there. No, you as the day oh. was placed upon the Black King's head. I yeah. need something more than making spades. There is no. Yeah, you could follow me around, I guess. Because that's easier than having a new person every town. Different items and abilities. Yeah. They they got a little lazy in this game. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna defend it up and down. I think Diablo 2 is a far superior game, but they did do the hack and slash really good in here. Like, yeah, you could take on armies of people for whatever reason. But if you want a good hack and slash where it's kind of mindless, but you just get to kill hordes of stuff over and over again, this is definitely a good game. And like, that might sound condescending, but no. Sometimes you just need that. Like Left 4 Dead 2, that's another great game. They just give you hordes of zombies and you just gotta shoot them and keep shooting and just keep shooting. And it's not necessarily a challenging game unless you want to go on harder modes, but it's just... Ooh, Mage's Flood. Maximum Essence? Aura Damage? I'll take that. Ooh, an actual Scythe. 
Oh, but I don't get the heart. Oh, not that. I wanted like the one I was using, so I can use the heart. The floating heart for reasons. It floats. Yeah, I've heard there's a new Left 4 Dead coming out. That'll be pretty awesome. Just some more shooting and killing zombies in great numbers. Oh, I heard a rumor, speaking of zombies. I'm not sure if it's true. If it is true, it's kind of cool. So, uh, Dying Light. Pretty good zombie game. Uh, good sound-based game. Good parkour-type game. The running and sliding and everything is pretty good. And you could get zombies by making noise. Made sense to why guns were not super used. And then, like, at night, there was, like, super zombies, but they weren't all super zombies, but they were just around. I thought that made for a pretty cool element. But if, what I heard, the rumor-wise, anyways, is that it was supposed to be, like, an update or an expansion to Dead Island, but it was basically so good, it's such a different style game, like, oh, yeah, we'll just kind of make it its own thing. It's, it's not Dead Island anymore. <laughs> it's basically it's its own thing, which I thought was pretty cool. I like it when things see that. Ooh, World of Warcraft, that's another one I've actually read on this. Uh, War, uh, Warhammer. If you've ever heard of it, there's a bunch of Warhammer games. Uh, there's like Vermintide, and they're coming out, I think it's like Dark Tide or something like that, the 40k version, and there's like Blood Bowl, and Space Marine, and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. But, apparently, World of Warcraft was talking to GW first about making a world of Warhammer. Because they already had their RTS, War Warcraft, and they were doing pretty good with it. And uh, so they were going to make this open world and had it set up, you get all the multiple races you could be, but basically two main factions, the good and the evil. And they had it all set up to be pretty cool. And GW does GW, and they're like, oh yeah, well, you can't promote it, we're the only ones that can promote it, and we can only use our licensed material so you can't make money. I basically it was just like, yeah, you guys can make the game, but you're not going to get anything from it. So Blizzard was like, yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that. And there's a whole bunch of people using the source code for Warcraft 3 to make uh, basically World of Warcraft. You, instead of having the armies, you basically just had like a small party healers and DPS and tanks and stuff like that. Kind of like what they set you up for in the game. But they made it even bigger and better. So like, oh hey, people like this concept. They're liking it enough to where they're using our source code and making it. So yeah, let's let's do that. We'll just make it a game. And they did and it became super successful and the most popular games ever. And Warhammer could have had that if they were not greedy conniving little D-bags. Which I... I criticize them, but I still buy their models and play their games. They might be greedy, conniving D-bags, but they, they have a good universe. <laughs> They're good storytellers. Ooh, hey. Protection train. They're gonna protect me. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find me a new friend here. Maintain your I like friends. You will soon. How is that not hitting you? Okay. I'm gonna blow you up. I'm blow you up. I'm blow you up. I'm blow you up. I'm blow you up. Yeah. Who are you? You will know soon enough. I'll help you. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? Uh, infernal stuff. Because there can only be one. The cultists dragged me past this glowing. I'm the skeleton king. What made it? I will know soon. Like, I'm the king of skeletons because I make skeletons. I'm not a skeleton myself. Yes. Down this way. He's free! Do not let him rearm! Ah, uh, we're gonna let him rearm. I'm Cormac. Warrior Hi, Cormac. Even though it's not gonna say Cormac under your name, because, you know, you again, like, be nice and easy. There is no reason you should hunt alone. If you resist. Yeah. I'm not gonna hunt alone. We gotta go fight your buddy, because apparently your buddy is a bad guy. I don't know. Don't question it. Just kill it. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, there you are. Here's the bad guy. 
Mr. Grax Wraith. At least it's Wraith. I think it's spelled wrong, but at least it makes more sense than some of the other stuff. Oh, hey. Cool. Oh, I can't do the party thing yet? Okay, whatever. I'm supposed to be able to equip you with some stuff. Too easy. Right? Yeah. Did I learn anything? I don't think so. Ooh. Look at this side passage. Hidden passage. That's the only way to go. There's reasons. Ugh. Black magic bars our way. But the will of a Templar is stronger. Black magic is some bits of wood. You were a Templar, John <laughs> How could you succumb Necromancer to Betrayer? You betrayed me? Now. The powers we serve will soon rule this world! Yeah, why not? Again, we'll just blow up everything. Please forgive me. My nope. vision was clouded by the coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be. Yeah, because you're a little punk. Betrayer. Yeah, that was totally. Thank you for your aid. Thing. I will go yeah. <laughs> with you on your hunt for the skeleton king. But there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. Go for do it. As you please. I'm not a Such Templar. Books do not interest me. Then onwards we go yeah, to cool. fight the skeleton king. Yeah, do this. Yeah, see now I accept now he's just Templar. Like he's got a name, and you can't find other Templars, and so like why not just use his name? Don't I don't know. Yeah, uh heal me. Actually you don't even need to. Uh taunt some enemies. By life regeneration, enemy hit. Yeah, let's just do that. Like I really do not need your help, but we'll do this. Like, you're there because you're there. <laughs> but I think I have a new belt. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I could use some new gloves. And I could use the armor, but like I really don't need the armor. <laughs> it's not a it's not a worry. Ooh, I could have pants though. I'm not wearing any pants. Kinda of in the nude here. Yeah, now we're pretty outfitted. And like his he he doesn't change or anything, like when I give him new cool gear and stuff, he just stays the same. I could have changed that up a little bit. It's okay, look, look at that. There's a corpse, there's a corpse, there's some corpses, there's some corpses, there's some corpses. Corpses everywhere. That was so hard. <laughs> it wasn't hard. It was super simple. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, soul siphon. Essence each time it is dealt siphoned blood from target enemy dealing damage and healing me. Our enemies are slow with the scythe. I like the scythe. I'm gonna do the scythe a little bit. Ooh, skeletal mage. Raise a skeleton. Cool. I want a skeletal mage. Uh, corpse explosion. Keeping that. Cool. I tried to count how many we've killed, but I've lost track. Ooh, I have a couple of them. Nice. Yeah, we're just gonna. Keep killing stuff and raising some zombies and having a good old time with it. I right, kill a couple stuff, raise some mages, and see how awesome this is going to be. Then I just get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is not even fair anymore. <laughs> I think I win. I win forever. I need essence. Yep, that's that's just a win. I win combo. Get some medicines. Blow some stuff up. Have some mages. The mages be shooting some stuff. Yep. Yeah. 
Look at that. 42 deaths in like seconds. I gotta say, I win. Check this chest, and that's probably gonna be it for this episode. So, thanks for watching and listening to my poop jokes, which are actually real life experiences. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. If you're interested in any more, I've got a couple lined up right here. And if you haven't yet, click the icon in the center to subscribe to my channel. And remember, have fun out there.